Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and in this video, well, this is kind of like the video. At least it's the video for me, and maybe for you too, because in this video, I'm selecting the top five kayaks of the year. So what makes a kayak of the year? Well, it could be one of a variety of things. It could be a kayak that's special or unique in some way. It could be a kayak that just has exceptional value for the price. It could be a kayak that just puts a smile on your face when you paddle it. So how did I come up with these kayaks? Well, this season I tested more than 25 kayaks. When I say tested, I thoroughly tested and did a review video of each one. I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you want to see the individual reviews. I chose those kayaks, all 25 of them, with the idea that they were all part of this conversation of potential kayak of the year. That being said, before you jump on me about not including a kayak in this list, please know that I didn't test all the kayaks that I wanted to. I tried to, but it, this year, this COVID year, it was really hard to get your hands on kayaks, and I'm sure a lot of you found the same problems when you tried to buy a kayak that you really wanted. So bottom line is, I'm sure there are other kayaks that deserve to be in this conversation, but it doesn't change the fact that these are great kayaks and they deserve special recognition for their awesomeness. So let's get right into it. First up, PNH Sea Kayaks Virgo. PNH Sea Kayaks Virgo MV is the mid volume Virgo. They also have an LV and an HV, a low volume and a high volume boat. The Virgo retails for $18.99 US dollars. It's 14 feet, 5 inches long. It's 23 inches wide. It weighs 56 pounds or 25 kilos. And it has a capacity of 220 pounds or 100 kilos. If you watched my full in-depth gear review of the Virgo, then it's not gonna come as a big surprise that this kayak made it into the kayaks of the year. The reason being the build quality, first of all. It's built very well. This kayak is going to last a very long time. This could be a lifetime kayak. But more importantly, it's the performance of this kayak. At 23 inches wide, it's a quick kayak. But at the same time, it has great primary and secondary stability. What does that mean? That's the stability when it's flat and the stability when it's held on edge. On top of that, it has a hard chine and a lot of rocker, which makes it very maneuverable and it loves to carve hard turns. It's the kind of kayak that gives you a ton of confidence no matter what type of conditions you're paddling in. So who is the Virgo for? Well, the Virgo is good for anyone who wants a nimble, all-conditioned sea kayak someone who's okay with giving up stowage capacity for having a higher performance boat, and someone who's willing to spend a bit more on a kayak to get a kayak, really a lifetime kayak. But high performance is not the only way to make it into the Kayaks of the Year selection. And this next kayak proves just that. Next up, the Bonafide EX123. The Bonafide EX123 is a recreational touring kayak. It retails for $1,099 US dollars. It's 12 feet 3 inches long. It's 29 and a half inches wide. It's 67 pounds or 30 kilograms. And it has a capacity of 375 pounds or 170 kilograms. So what makes the Bonafide EX123 one of the kayaks of the year? Well, there's a few things. And let's start with insane stability. I've never felt stability from a kayak like I did when I tested this one out. But the cool thing is that it maintains a reasonable performance on top of that, and that's a unique combination. The other really interesting thing about the EX123 is that it has some very well thought out features that you don't often find on sit inside kayaks. For example, the vinyl cover up front replaces bungees, which I've never been a big fan of. It's got these big oversized handles for carrying it, which is great because this kayak is not light. It's got a framed and elevated seat, which is a really nice feature in a sit-inside kayak. So who is the EX123 for? 
Well, this kayak is great for anybody for whom stability is of paramount importance. It's for people who are going to be sticking to calm water, and that's water that's protected from wind and waves. And it's people who want to sit inside recreational kayak that's also great for fishing. But recreational kayaks aren't just about stability. In fact, the next kayak is a kayak of the year for a different reason. Next up, the Pungo 120. The Wilderness Systems Pungo 120 is a sit inside recreational kayak. It retails for 999 US dollars. It's 12 feet 2 inches long. It's 29 inches wide. It weighs 49 pounds, 22 kilograms. It has a capacity of 325 pounds or 147 kilos. So what makes the Pungo 120 one of the kayaks of the year? Well, the Pungo has been one of the world's best-selling kayaks for like 10 years or more, and for good reason. It does a great job of mixing performance and stability. It's quick, it's stable, and it's fun to paddle. It's the kind of kayak that you can throw a beginner kayaker or an experienced paddler, and everyone will enjoy it for their own reasons. It's also a very comfortable kayak. It uses Wilderness Systems Phase 3 Air Pro seat, which has under leg support and is very nice on the tush. At 999 US dollars, it's not a cheap kayak, but it is a great value kayak. It has really nice features for a recreational kayak, including a locking stern hatch with a bulkhead and a removable dashboard. So who is the Pungo 124? Well, the Pungo 120 is a kayak for beginner through intermediate paddlers. People who are looking for a calm water boat and are happy to give up a little bit of stability for speed and fun. It's also a boat for people willing to spend a little bit more money to get a kayak that could be with you for a lifetime. Now at 49 pounds, the Pungo is not what you'd call a heavy recreational kayak, but it still can be a real challenge to get this thing to the water. And that's exactly the challenge that this next kayak of the year winner took on. Next up, the Oru Kayak Inlet. The Oru Kayak Inlet is a portable sit inside kayak. It retails for 899 US dollars. It's 9 feet 6 inches long. It's 30 inches wide. It weighs 20 pounds, 9 kilograms. It has a capacity of 275 pounds or 125 kilograms. So why is this baby one of the kayaks of the year? Well, for one thing, simple, simple, simple to assemble and disassemble. You can literally be on the water in a couple of minutes. Performance wise, its hard shell and slicey ends make it perform very close to a nine foot hard shell kayak. And of course, its weight. At 20 pounds, this thing really solves the problem of getting a kayak around. And so who is the inlet for? Well, it's for people who either want or need a portable kayak and are willing to pay a small premium for it. It's for people who are going to be paddling in calm waters that are protected from wind and waves. It's for people who are happy not to have a fast boat, they want a stable boat. And it's for people who want a lightweight kayak that's simple to get around. Now portability is a huge factor for a lot of people, and this next kayak not only is portable, but it has another very unique feature. Last, but certainly not least, Hobie's iTrek 9. Hobie's iTrek 9 is an inflatable pedal kayak, or pedal board, whatever you want to call it. It retails for 2,199 US dollars. It's 9 feet 5 inches long. It's 40 inches wide. It weighs in total 37 pounds or 17 kilos, and it has a capacity of 350 pounds or 159 kilos. So what makes the iTrek 9 one of the kayaks of the year? Well, if you're on the market for a portable and pedal kayak, you just can't beat this thing. Let's start with the Hobie's Mirage Drive pedal system. This thing is a wonderful machine. It's smooth. It's fast. It deals with shallow water beautifully. 
Now, beyond that, the engineering behind this boat, board, whatever you want to call it, is wonderful. The seating system, the rudder system, it's tight, it performs wonderfully, and you know it's going to last. When it comes to performance, now the iTrek is 40 inches wide. It's not fast, but what it is, is incredibly maneuverable. So maneuverable, in fact, it feels like you're on a waterborne go-kart at times. So who is this kayak for? Well, that's simple. It's for people who want or need a pedal kayak, and it's for people who want or need a portable kayak. It's also for people who want a stick to calm water. That's water that's protected from wind and waves. Well, there you have it. My picks for kayaks of the year. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, give it a thumbs up. Now, I know a lot of you out there will be saying, where, where was this kayak? Where was that kayak? And I want to hear about those kayaks. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what kayaks you think should have been in this video. And even more importantly, tell me what kayaks you think I should be testing next year, because this marks the end of gear reviews for this season, but I'm far from done. I'm already planning my schedule for next season, and I want to know what you want to see reviewed. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and stay tuned, because we got lots more paddling things coming your way. Mm -hmm.